Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Jonathan back to you with another video. So for the video today guys, I just want to do a quick uh, CD pickup. I know a lot of my uh, YouTube friends have been doing this recently, so I've decided why not I just start doing that as well. It's pretty cool just to show what you've gotten in the last, like, I guess the last time you've been to a record store or, um, you know, a music store that sells CDs and vinyls and stuff. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, so yeah, let's get started. So, um... The first one I want to show you guys is uh, Nimrod from Green Day. I don't know how many of you are Green Day fans, but I've been a pretty big fan of them for about maybe five months now. Ever since uh, John from ARTV has done his um, countdown reviews for Green Day's albums, I decided just to check them out. And I really enjoyed them. I mean, I'm not a big fan of punk rock or pop punk like that, anything like that, but you know, I really am getting into the genre a little bit more than I used to, so. Yeah, definitely check this one out if you're a fan of uh, punk rock or even pop punk or just rock in general. Alright, so the next one I'll show you is The Open Door from Evanescence. I know a lot of you are Evanescence fans. Um, yeah, they're a really good band. I believe they're releasing an album this year or next year. I think it's this year because they released a Bring Me to Life uh, remix of some sorts and I was like, eh, it's, it was okay. The original can't beat it. The original's way better than the remix. So, but this is their second album. It was released in um, 2006. So yeah, this is a very solid album too. And they didn't have their um, their other guy. I forgot his name. But yeah, so Amy Lee's a very talented vocalist. If you haven't heard Evanescence before, I would definitely check it out. Very solid album here. All right, here's another Green Day one. It's from it's Warning from 2000. This one's brand new as well. Um, this is where they really um, were experimenting in their sound. It's not very punk rock at all. It's more of an alternative sound, I guess. So I've heard very good things about this album, you know? So I really wanted to check it out. So I'll definitely be giving this one a spin. And if you guys are um, into uh, maybe alternative rock or something like that, you should definitely check this out. It's very worth, worth your time. The next one here is System of a Down's Mesmerize. I believe this was the um, the second album and the double albums that they released. Maybe it was Hypnotize, but either way, this this one and Hypnotize were their last albums before they pretty much disappeared off the face of the earth of recording albums. They haven't released one since 2005, and it's been 12 years. So, yeah, this album is very good. Um, so is Hypnotize. And so, yeah, definitely, if you're into um, rock and metal and very, you know, fast-paced guitars and stuff and harmonies, you'll definitely like this album a lot. Um, there's a lot of good ones on here. BYOB, which stands for Bring Your Own Bombs. And this is a very political band, by the way. So if you like politics and music, you'll definitely be on the System of Down bandwagon. All right, so next one is True Defiance from Demon Hunter. Now, Demon Hunter is a band that's risen very high in my uh, favorite band's catalog. And for good reason. These guys are a great Christian metal core band. I mean, they're probably the best in their genre, to be honest. I mean, Ryan Clark is just a very talented vocalist, and he writes very good hooks. And so I wanted to get this one just because um, just wanted to get all their discography. I've already gotten a couple of others, which I'll show in the next CD pickup video, but I just wanted to show this one since I got this one a couple days ago, and so I'm definitely going to be checking this one out, listening to it, because I know a lot of um, people out there like Demon Hunter, who are Metalhead fans, so yeah, it's a good, solid release. This next one is Discover Red, um, I had this one for a while now, I just wanted to show it, it's pretty much just six of their hits on one CD. I just decided to get it. It was only like three or four, three or four bucks, you know. So I was like, just screw it. Let's just get this album, you know, just to get as much Red stuff as possible. I know a lot of you are fans of Red out there. They're very talented, very talented guys. Christian band and producer Rob Graves really knows what he's doing when it comes to producing records. And so. Yeah, that's it pretty much for today, so thanks for watching, and um, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and share with your friends, and have 
See you in the next one.